guys and welcome to my new video. Today's video is going to be about the types of people you see on the trains. Now I did a similar video to this a couple of years ago, months ago, a couple of months ago. A video about public transport saying about how trains are better than buses and all these different things. The actual video didn't do too well. The content was fine but the actual video didn't do too well because I my English wasn't very good. I sort of mucked up my words. I have a long list here of people that you would tend to see on the train and what I'm going to do is try and reenact some of these things. Here we go in order of people that you would t tend to see on the train. Number one, heavy snorers. Number two, people holding big newspapers taking up the space of two seats. the kids and adults that are addicted to their phones. Four, the loud, unnecessary talkers. So yeah, you know when uh, me and Jenna went to the cafe the other night and we were having a cup of coffee? Oh, that was such a brilliant night. I mean, it was fantastic. Like, it was the best coffee I've ever drunk in my life and we actually went out clubbing afterwards. It was so amazing. Five, people with funny accents. So you came to sit next to me and I, I don't know what to say, but you like, uh, I do not know, uh, you, you, you let me sit, I don't know, you, I don't know. Six, drunk people. We up the ammers, up the ammers, yeah. Mm. Seven, women doing their makeup. Eyebrows. Number eight, people writing down what work they need done in their house. So I need the fireplace in the living room, I need the kitchen table done, I need a bigger television, I need a bigger lamp, I need a double bed, I need four toilets, I need a bigger door, I need a bigger car, I need everything basically in my house sorted because there's nothing perfect at all with my house, I'm a perfectionist, everything literally needs changing. I need this done as soon as possible could be because basically we need everything in the whole house sorted out. Number nine, the constant starers. Number ten, the twiddly fingerers. Number eleven, the moody businessmen and women. Number twelve, the tourists. Uh, we look for uh, the bridge of London Tower. Bridge London Tower. British London, uh, London Tower Bridge, uh, it's Bridge of London, I think, I don't know, Bridge. Number 13, the school children. We all live in a yellow submarine, a yellow submarine, a yellow submarine. Number 14, the people with the large suitcases. Number 15, the drug users. <laughs> Number 16, the nose pickers. Number 17, the people coughing loudly. <coughs> <coughs> Number 18, the people addicted to their phones. Number 19, the book reading nerds. 20, the mouthing singers. 21, the people rolling cigarettes. 22, the phone peerers. 23, attractive people that everybody looks at. 24, pretending to read messages to get attention. <laughs> 25, foreign people talking quietly even though we don't understand what they say. 26. People that walk down the escalators on the left incredibly slowly when what they can do instead is stand on the right and wait. <sighs> 
27. And the selfie takers. I need a dog filter. 28. The university students talking about random stuff. Do you know the P2Q967 that we were doing in module 674? And part two of the DMCX29137, like module three, part three. So thank you very, very much for watching this video. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. And yeah, if you are any of these 28 things, or if you see people that are in the in the category of any of these 28 things, please let me know, write it down in the comments. I wanna connect with you guys, so basically yeah, just talk to me and yeah, we'll have fun. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I know I can't count, and I know my fingers can't count properly, but I thought it would be more interactive for me to count rather than having a little thing in the bottom of the screen. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and don't forget to subscribe, even though the letters are the wrong way around. But I will see you very soon. Goodbye.